I like to think of Post Secret as punk art, as people's art. Anybody can write their true secret on a postcard and mail it to me. Just a guy it comes to my home mailbox. If it feels like a raw, authentic secret, it, it goes up on the web. And one of the beauties for me of the website and the project as a whole is how it can reveal these unexpected feelings that we think we're carrying by ourselves that nobody else would recognize or identify with. These are all the postcards that Frank has gotten, mm -hmm. and he keeps them all in these bins, and he also bought some letters as well. So he invited all of us to just look at these postcards firsthand to kind of get a feeling for what he goes through every, every day. <laughs> it makes you feel connected to people, even though they're people you don't know. And I think that's sort of a really interesting dynamic that it gives. And if there's one that, you know, really touched you, you want to be nicer to the, those people that you don't know, because it could be them. It sounded a little bit bizarre when she first told me about it. She, she got the books and I read them and I found myself um, mesmerized, you know, obsessed with them. It's amazing, too, how creative these people are, how a, how a picture can say so much with only four or five words on there, you know. I'll, I'll find myself just reading the same one over and over and over again and being overwhelmed with this feeling you know sometimes it's just a, a picture done with a crayon and I'm like going whoa <laughs> you know I felt that one you know some of them you really feel secrets are so compelling they're uh, they're funny they're sexual they're hopeful they're filled with anguish or despair or optimism in ways that really speak to your heart there's something about that anonymity I think that allows people to express so much more of the fullness of who they are it's very inspiring Every time we take her to the mall, there are always little kids there and they always, you know, she thinks that they come to play with her. She gets all excited, she thinks she has all these friends and then, you know, they're just staring at her hand and it's sad. The first thing that went through my mind was that someday somebody's gonna, gonna um, maybe tease her or make her cry. It just hurts my heart to think about that and so I was trying to express how beautiful she is to me when I started reading the comments that other people had written and that, that was something I wasn't expecting. Just how, how kind and um, thoughtful the notes were. <laughs> I think the reason that the post secret community has such a, a powerful ability to allow people to open up and to blossom is because it, it comes with a pretense of acceptance and tolerance. If you share yourself, that that has value. And I think that for a lot of people, the reason they keep secrets is because they fear the judgment that comes along with them, and so they think that those things are devaluing. And I think that Post Secret makes a very clear, has a very clear undertone to it that the entire point of it is acceptance and the whole entire point of it is tolerance. And so when people share in that arena, they share in a way that comes from an assumed sense of, of security and an assumed sense of love, really, genuinely. People really do care about you on the forum. It's the weirdest thing because I knew nothing about online forums before I did this, but then after you know seeing how supportive the community is and how people really do kind of form bonds with people, I think that's what brings people together. So there's something about post secret that really connects to people on a deep level and, and brings them together in a way that I think is so positive and just shows that online communities are really powerful, but they bring people together in the real world in even more powerful ways. I'm at the airport. I just have this really overwhelming sense of gratitude and appreciation um, kind of just wash over me. My heart is so full today. Um, it's amazing when you take a group of strangers who uh, have chosen to assume the best about one another. The transition from being strangers to friends is a very powerful one.